Hi, back here at home, the massive microchip plant constructed by a Taiwanese company is hitting roadblocks. Team 12's Joe Dana tells us what the governor, labor unions, and a key senator are all doing to keep a very big promise. Joe? The promise is that the Taiwanese semiconductor chip manufacturing hub will equate to 21,000 construction jobs and 13,000 high-paying, high-tech jobs down the road. But the project is already delayed and facing questions about just how much Arizonans will benefit. The start of another work week at the enormous microchip plant. When completed, the first phase alone will be the size of 78 football fields. The job is about a lot more than a paycheck. The crown jewel of President Biden's landmark Chips and Science Act is supposed to put Arizona on the global map for tech manufacturing. Made in America. But since last December's groundbreaking, a drop in chip sales, alleged mismanagement at the construction site, and disputes over labor are causing delays. The governor's office tells 12 News Monday Governor Hobbs met personally with TSMC executives in Taiwan over this weekend as her office works to make sure the project is a, quote, win-win for the company and Arizona workers. Arizona labor unions allege the company is trying to replace union workers with less skilled Taiwanese workers. An alliance of Arizona construction unions tells 12 News Monday they're in talks this week to ensure union workers remain in their positions and continue filling jobs. Another unexpected development involves the chips themselves. The tech news site The Information, citing TSMC engineers, reports that many advanced chips made here will still require assembly in Taiwan for a process known as packaging. Senator Mark Kelly tells 12 News Monday through a spokesperson, for Senator Kelly, it's always been clear that strengthening American leadership in microchips must cover every aspect of the process, including advanced packaging. Nearly a year into construction, it's becoming clear some negotiations will still be required to get the most benefit from the largest single foreign investment in Arizona. Joe Dana, 12 News.